Magic versus Bird, Brady versus Manning, McEnroe versus Borg, and, and no, I'm not actually related to Bjorn. That'd be great for me. All of these great rivalries pale in comparison to the latest born on the courts of Pickle this afternoon at the Pentagon, Stiglmeyer versus Henderson. Jackrabbit football coach John Stiglmeyer took a brief break from fall camp to take on men's basketball coach Eric Henderson and pickleball during a fan event at the Pentagon held by the Sioux Empire Staters and Sioux Falls Pickleball Club. Now the main purpose was to meet fans, relax a bit as the athletic season draws near and introduce people to the sport of pickleball as well as well. For, as for the match itself, the veteran football coach defeated his young basketball counterpart. Well, he's got a bad backhand, and he's really slow with his feet, so if you play with those two, I'm 20-some years older than he is, so you got to figure out how to score points. Yeah, I'm not going to talk uh, very much about that one, my man, but uh, he's pure athleticism. Just look at the guy. It was fun, fun to be down here in Sioux Falls and uh, maybe draw a little attention to the Jackrabbits and, and all our sports programs. If you're interested in pickleball, the Pentagon will be hosting a tournament in October. Check out their website or visit the Sioux Falls Pickleball Club on Facebook. We'll have links on our website shortly. As for the sport that will soon dominate our Saturdays, though the Coyote football team has had a high-powered offense capable of matching almost anyone in the Missouri Valley, it's not lost on them that the team that keeps winning the conference every year, North Dakota State, is doing it with dominant defense. I mean, the Coyote defense was well, anything but last year. USD gave up the third most yards per game in the league at 430 and were gashed against the run giving up 211 yards per contest. Along with hoping that their youth matures, the Coyotes shook up the coaching staff, getting a new defensive coordinator in Travis Johansson and a new linebackers coach in former Iowa Hawkeye and NFL pro Abdul Hodge. And it seems as though they've also brought with them a new attitude. We're going to get after people. That's one thing uh, we've been talking about a lot this summer and last spring is we're not going to take a backseat to anyone. We, uh, we're going to get after every team we play, whether it's Oklahoma, North Dakota State, Indiana State, whoever it is, whoever's coming on Saturday, we're going we're gonna to get after people. We're going to play our brand of football. We had a chance this spring to, to, uh, to get kind of the nuts and bolts of the new system in, and uh, this month will be all about refining that. USD opens the season four weeks from today in the Dakota Dome against Montana. If you want to talk about attitude changes, look no further than Sioux Center and Dort University under Joel Penner. In the five years prior to his arrival, Dort won just 10 games while losing 45. Over his last three years, they've nearly doubled that win total, going 17 and 14, culminating with the program's best season last year when they went 7 and 3 and finished third in the G-Pack. Though they'll be young at quarterback, the defenders have been picked third again in the preseason poll, thanks to the return in part of bruising running back Keith and Drury. And Penner's confident the program he's built is deep enough to keep the momentum going. What we're really focusing on is the things that got us to the point that we're at right now. Um, we have a lot of really special guys in our locker room. We have a lot of talent in our in our program. Um, the way I look at it is we're just going to pour gasoline on something. We're going to see how big this fire can get. That's a good idea. Door opens the season early at home on August, August 29th. That's a Thursday against Kaiser. The Minnesota Vikings play their first preseason game one week from tonight, and they're certainly happy to have Anthony Barr back in purple after it appeared he'd be gone just a few months ago. Now, after speculation that he was leaving as a free agent during much of the 2018 season, the six-year linebacker changed his mind about signing with the New York Jets and re-upped with the Vikings last March. Despite missing three games, he was still named to his fourth consecutive Pro Bowl last year. And with no contract distractions, Barr is focused on the most important bottom line of all. Uh, I just want to win. I don't care how we do it. I don't care what my stats are. I don't care if it's, we win by one or win by 100. Uh, just trying to get wins. It just gives me a sense of calm. You know, I know I can just go out and play, do my job, and uh, just be the best I can be for the team. So uh, excited for the opportunity. And they will open up their season against the Atlanta Falcons regular season in early September. Day two of the State B Legion Baseball Tournament in Lenox in loser out play in the winner's bracket. Big Stone rallies to defeat Tabor 8-7, to eliminating them while Beersford eliminates the defending State B champion Dell Rapids 5-1. In the winner's bracket, games are currently in progress. We'll have highlights of both of these coming up tonight at 10 o'clock. Hartford Humboldt leads Red Field 3-2. That game in the fifth. Lennox and Winter Cologne follow that. And again, we'll have highlights of that, plus the Twins tonight at 10. Back in a moment.